But in South Korea, it's midnight, which means it's May 9th. And if you look at Facebook on Mr. Danny Bay's account, May 9th is actually his birthday. So can we all send him a happy birthday message and thank him for his leadership and everything he does where he should be just resting right now, but he is going to war still at the office for all of us. That is our chairman. So Mr. Danny Bay, I know you can't hear everybody, but on behalf of all the U.S. influencers, we just want to say happy birthday. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. And we're now going to hand uh, the mic or actually the video to you. So thank you so much, Mr. Danny Bay, and happy birthday. Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Mike Lon, and thank you very, very much to all my friends in America uh, for <laughs> wishing me happy birthday on exactly at midnight, um, May 9th, and I was born in Korea, so I guess this is my uh, real birthday right here, so appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Thank you, thank you, all of you, for um, your comments and text on there. I appreciate it. Well, you know, um, it's going to be fun when we get to travel the world together. We build business together. We travel the world together um, after this pandemic and, you know, celebrate each other's um, different special days with one another, you know, and that's... Um, um, that's going to be special. So anyways, I appreciate everybody being on. Um, good morning, GPS. Episode number three. And I know many of you are tuning in from many different cities and states. And um, I see uh, Mr. Stuart Stant, which I think is 5 a.m. over there. <laughs> what you doing not sleeping? <laughs> and um, I see some comments from some of you tuning in from Tokyo. Um, Japan, and you know, I see my good buddy, Mr. Steve Gwen, right there, all the way out from Maryland, and just seeing so many of you tuning in. And and Mr. Tony, I don't know if you're actually sitting um, on the beach or if you're using a like a virtual like a, a video background, but that's cool, man. I, I I see the wind and I see the you know palm tree. I'm just like waving and. That's pretty cool, you know. And if you if you if you're on Zoom and if you haven't tried it yet, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's like Mr. S um, Stephen Smith, you know, he got it. You know, he's not even messing around by the beach. No, he 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 out there in space, you know. Like um, some of you heard us saying, "I'm um, like out of this world." Yep, that's what he's doing right now. He's out of this world. <laughs> he's having Good Morning GPS out of world, out of this world experience right now. And if you don't know how to do it. You could just go click on the menu and go to virtual background and you can put the image you want and, um, you know, have some fun with this. So, oh, oh you got, you got married, Tony got married in Maui. So whatever I could do to take myself back, you good man, you good man. Well, anyways, um, good morning, good afternoon, good night, or, you know, wherever you're tuning in from, we appreciate you being on. Um, we spent last couple of days, the first day we talked a lot about um, really the, having the right mindset to be a pioneer and be the entrepreneur and, and you know, being involved in um, something this magnitude with this unique um, opportunity, um, which, um, which we, we share a lot of information, which I, I, I know I talked to many of you um, after the call, after the event last couple of days, and, and we're really excited with the fact that many of us are, you know, getting the right mindset to fully take advantage of this opportunity. You know, I, I mentioned a couple of days ago, um, in the beginning, a ground floor opportunity like this, sometimes, you know, I know many of you have enrolled and joined the GPS opportunity with the right mindset of um, to be an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a pioneer, to um, build something successful. But unfortunately, sometimes um, in the beginning, people join an opportunity, not and they don't they don't start a business with an opportunity. They buy a lottery ticket um, with the opportunity, you know. And 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 you know, if you're if somebody buys a lottery, have the lottery ticket mentality as they're starting a business. 
um, they miss out, you know, because they, they, all they were trying to do is get lucky. And, you know, and um, I, I love what Mr. Jim Rohn said. And Mr. Jim Rohn said, um, you know, I wish somebody will come around and, and, and motivate me. I wish somebody would come around and do this for me. I wish, you know, somebody would come around and this thing will explode. And, and if somebody has the mentality, Mr. Jim Rohn's um, a message to them was, hey, what if they don't show up? You know, his whole thing was, what if they don't show up? You know, yeah, it's nice if somebody show up. Um, you know, in your team and they explode for you. But what if they don't show up? What are you going to do about it? You know, if somebody, um, you know, the first person you introduce, maybe it's cool if they build a team of 10,000 influencers and, and have so many customers for VRLU and Pico and the VR EVP commerce. But what if they don't show up? What are you going to do about it? You know, yeah, it would be cool. You know, you know what's cool is if you sign up one person on the left, one person on the right, and they become influencer 100k. You know, you like, I mean, <laughs> you probably, you know, you probably be probably influencer 200k. <laughs> I mean, they'll be cool, right? You know, but what if you sign up the first one and and you know they they not 100k. No, they just you know they just they're just quitter. Doesn't matter what they do. You know, how many of you guys know people that quit? Doesn't matter what they do, right? You know, some. Some people have membership at the gym, you know, for five years and they haven't gone once and, and they're blaming coronavirus right now that that's why they haven't been, but you know, they actually had the membership for five years, four and a half years prior to um, COVID-19 and they still haven't been there once, you know? So, I mean, that's just how some people are. So really a lottery mindset isn't going to make anybody successful. And it's the entrepreneurship mindset, pioneering mindset. We talked about that. You guys got it. Yesterday we spent good amount of time talking about virtual reality industry. And I saw even some, some of Instagram posts, Facebook posts of some of you um, that, that did your homework yesterday. You went to that very unique website that you probably haven't been before, six letter G-O-O-G-L-E.com and, and, and researched um, VR industry coronavirus. And you saw all these articles from one day, uh, two days ago, five days ago, uh, 30 days ago, talking about all the shifts and the movement that's happening. Um, I know um, Carl and Carlos, they posted on Facebook and I shared it with some of the leaders yesterday, uh, a magazine, you know, talk, um, focusing on, on cancer patients. And I think it's called Cure Cancer or whatnot. And, and in the magazine, the front cover was virtual reality. And the full cover story was, um, how so many cancer treatment centers around the country are starting to implement virtual reality um, um, technology because, you know, it helps tremendously um, people dealing with, um, people dealing with um, anxiety, people dealing with um, all these different um, e emotional um, challenges. And also they try to explain and give them experience in virtual reality uh, on production of, you know, the treatment they're going through and what is actually doing to help them um, to, you know, um, um, get, cure their cancer or, you know, um, treat their cancer. And, and he says so many um, cancer treatment centers around the country are implementing VR and it's helping tremendously. I mean, as I was reading the article, I, I thought to myself, how amazing is it? I know a lot of us, um, you know, I know a lot of us are, um, you know, maybe have certain areas um, of lives that we're, we're, we're interested in or we're, we're actively um, um, being engaged with. And, and, and maybe we um, look for applications or we look for solutions on uh, what VR means for us, you know, in the areas that we're used to. But maybe um, some people that are maybe dealing with health conditions like that and going to visit those centers like that, you know, they look at it in a whole different way, right? You know, so the application and, and the implementation of VR technology truly is sky's the limit. I mean, it, it is beyond um, what we could just try to figure out. On uh, So the best way to put it is everything we're doing in real life right now, everything we're doing in regular reality right now, eventually will be available in virtual reality. And the fact that we are um, the leading company to market VR device distribution and, and leading company to provide live practical content and provide subscriptions um, to really position people for entertainment, education, 
And you know, also now for kids, we call them edutainment. You guys ever heard that word, edutainment? I had a meeting with a team yesterday for a couple hours talking about the new edutainment content um, that we're gonna be creating in the near future and some products. Um, and really leading up to the EVP commerce, virtual reality e-commerce, um, it's, it's, it's just exciting, man. So, and I think yesterday, many of you spent some time um, learning and mastering and really seeing the bigger picture in details of how virtual reality opportunity um, is gonna be, um, you know, bringing to us in a way that we have never seen before. But today, I wanna talk to you a little bit about some strategies about how you could build your GPS opportunity. How do you go GPS uh, 100, 250, influencer 100, 250, 500, um, 1,000, 2,500, all these levels um, um, as fast as you can. How, how do you build a team and how do you build a culture? Uh, what kind of culture, what kind of system and process that do you want to have within your team um, for you and your team to win in a big way? So I'm excited about that. But hey, Tony, I cannot um, um, help myself. I got to say this. I know that background is reminding you of, you know, your special day of your, you know, um, getting married in Maui. But I don't know why Luke is where you're at, because I don't know if you guys know each other. I don't know, um, you know, it's coincidence. But man, Luke, has got the same background as you, man. I don't know, you know. <laughs> it's kind of cool, both of you are in Maui, I guess. But anyway, sorry, I got distracted. All right, so let's talk about some building strategy. Let's talk about uh, what we do. Now, but for us to talk about building strategies, let's talk about our comp plan. You gotta understand our comp plan. Now, GPS, our comp plan is very unique. Our comp plan is one of a kind. And, and, and I'll explain why. Now, maybe some of you are very new to direct sales. Maybe some of you have some experience um, with direct sales. Um, you know, I, I want to, regardless of if you had experience in direct sales or not, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the focus that we are um, creating within um, GPS um, compensation plan. Um, number one, our compensation plan, MIL, monthly influential level bonus. It is the, um, it is the core and the spine and the foundation of our plan. Now, obviously, our business, our, our revenue and our, our compensation plan is um, based on customer acquisition. You know, more customers, more revenue, um, more income you're going to create. Without customers, just recruiting influencers, it doesn't matter if you recruit uh, 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 um, influencers in your, in your team. If you don't have customers, if you don't have BV, if you don't have volume, um, you're not going to make any commission because we, um, GPS, do not pay any commissions to compensate anybody anyway um, just for recruitment of influencers. So all of it comes from customer acquisition, generating revenue, um, you know, with Pico device or VRLU subscription, as well as all the e-commerce, EVP commerce products we're going to add. Uh, so when you take a look at MIL, monthly influencer level bonus, you could kind of see how you should plan out your 30 days, 90 days, six months, one year game plan for you to achieve certain level in the plan for you to create certain amount of set monthly income. Um, we could call it whatever you want. We could call it, hey, you achieve the level. It's like set monthly residual income you could earn. If you're not familiar with direct sales or network marketing or free enterprise, um, maybe you know, you're more familiar with something like salary. I mean, we can't call it a salary because you have to you know, earn that level and maintain that level every month. It's, but it's kind of like having feeling like salary. If I achieve influencer um, 5,000, that means that I'm earning $5,000 in monthly influencer level bonus this month. But if I stay qualification of that level next month again, I get that bonus again next month. As long as I maintain the level, I earn that money every single month. So it's a, it's, it gives, I believe it's very unique because it provides some type of a, um, um, uh, um, an opportunity to have emotional um, security, you know, safety, because I know what to do to create um, certain amount of income. A lot of times in sales, a lot of time in our marketing, 
you can't predict what you're going to make next month. You can't kind of in detail game plan, hey, what am I going to make next month? What am I going to make the following month? What am I going to make this year? Um, but because I am IL, you know, a monthly influence level bonus, you can actually game plan properly. And, and in my experience, a lot of times to have monthly set amount compensation like this, a lot of times um, companies require you to build three different teams. That's, that's what I've seen. Um, with, usually, you know, that's what I've seen in the industry. So they ask you to build three separate teams, which is possible. Um, and, and a lot of times it has to be 40%, 30%, 30% balance or 40%, 40%, 20% um, balance to um, create certain amount of revenue to um, get a monthly, like the level residual bonus. But what we're doing is very special because we're not requiring three separate teams. What we're doing is you only have to build two teams, one team on the left, one team on the right. Um, you could... Uh, Derek, I'm going to answer you for a second. I just don't want to get distracted. Okay, so I'm going to answer you for a second. So hold that thought. Um, so you know, we you we you just build two teams, and only thing we're looking at is the lesser volume. We call it the working leg, lesser volume leg, um, volume for that month for you to achieve these levels. Um, so. You know, it's instead of building three, you're building two, but because everybody's building two and you can't have more than two, um, everybody's kind of helping one another. Um, so if I introduce one and two, and if I introduce the third person, that third person has to either go underneath my A person on the left or B person on the right. Um, so it's a very simple, um, you know, two team building situation. If you're from, if you have experience in network marketing, you probably heard the terminology binary and that's how it's structured. But if you're new to the industry, um, it's just know that you're building two teams. So everything else, you know, doesn't mean you stop after two. After two, you place them, you know, in the team to help everybody. And we'll talk about that. Um, somebody said, hey, I, um, I want to understand about IV. What's the difference? Now, that's a good question. BV is business volume, that's how commission is calculated. So if there's 100 BV, um, then that's, you know, 100 BV gets into the plan and that's how all the compensation plan gets calculated based on 100 BV. Now, IV, influencer volume, is used towards you achieving levels in the plan. You know, so um, IV, uh, now current um, IV is like, if I want to become influencer 5,000, on my working leg, in lesser leg, I need 50,000 IV. So um, IV is influence levels used towards you achieving positions. Now, somebody said, why is it separated? Here's the reason why. Right now, you know, it's same. 400 BV and IV for Pico, 100 BV and IV for BRLU, it's same. But it is separated for the future promotions. Maybe one month we're going to have a special promotion where we're going to be giving um, you know, 400 BV is going to stay the same for maybe Pico, but that month we said, hey, we want to go out there and encourage more people to um, um, get more customers with um, Pico device. And maybe 400 BV, the commission calculation stays the same, but that month we're going to do um, maybe 500 IV or 600 IV um, for Pico um, towards you counting volume, influencer volume towards your promotion for you to hit the ranks and the levels in the plan. Uh, maybe over one month, we want more people to earn more commissions. So maybe you get 400 IV for Pico device, um, but maybe that month we're doing a promotion, we're going to provide and give you 500 BV for its commission calculation. So, you know, that's why I separate it, you know, so don't, don't worry about it. You know, don't get confused. You know, just every time we have a new product launch, every time we have a promotion, you just see um, some majority of the time it's going to be the same, but whenever we run promotion, you see a higher number for BV or IV just to, you know, give you more incentive, you know, in for, for that period of time when we're running the promotion. So that's what it is. So, all right, let's go back into this. All right. So monthly influence level bonus, you want to set some goals. Um, I believe that every person that joins should have a goal in 48 hours to one week to get their first promotion. Now, let me start with that. You know, when people, when people join, here's the key, okay? A lot of times people wish that, you know, somebody would come around and motivate them. 
here's the key. If somebody wants to be successful in GPS, if somebody wants to be successful in being an entrepreneur, it is so important. It is so important to keep on moving. You know, when you stay sealed, I mean, you know how it is. I don't have to explain it to you. You can't go to the finish line, you know, just standing there. Would you guys agree with that? You know, you can't go to the finish line just laying down and sitting there. Would you agree with that? You know, you, you, you can't not grow by just sitting there. You know, you could be, have so much potential and energy to go do so much. But if you sit there, you know, you know, you know, if somebody, somebody thinks that, hey, you know, somebody should, um, they should rest more to be healthy. Do, do you know, yes, resting is important. But do you know if somebody just lays down all day, seven days a week, uh, 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 you know, for like the whole month. I mean, if somebody lays down and doesn't move, they, they, as healthy as you are, if you just lay and don't move for six months of time, as healthy as you are right now, six months of not moving at all, do you think you're going to be healthier? Or do you think <laughs> uh, 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 your health is going to go, go down big time? And it doesn't matter how strong you are now. If you don't move for six months, let me tell you something, you're going to be very weak. You know, uh, if you don't walk for six months, you're going to be very weak. So as strong as um, as um, as strong as uh, uh, you are, if you don't move, you get weak. So when you join an opportunity, when you when you when you want to have success, you got to move. And the truth is, faster you move, stronger you get. Um, more exercise you do, you know, stronger you get. You know, so when I, whenever I help someone get started, if I help somebody get started in my team today. Um, the key is keep on moving and key keys to make sure that we keep moving forward every single day, you know, and, and, and that's what levels are there for, you know, when I help someone to get started, I got to immediately encourage them and put them on a plan where they could get promoted to a level um, right away and they could get promoted to a position right away. So when somebody gets started, if I were to, I, I see a gentleman named Mr. DJ um, right there, um, Metzler. If I if I help DJ get started, um, first thing I'm going to do is, all right, DJ. Obviously, we're starting this for long term um, success. Obviously, you know uh, uh, we want to have big success. So I'll ask him what his why is, why he wants to be successful. He gives me his goals and dreams and plans, and from there I'm going to go. Okay, all right. Where do you see yourself? You know, for you to achieve the goals and plan and dreams that you have that you want to achieve with GPS. Where, what, what level do you see yourself in the next 12 months, 24 months? Hey, if it was up to you and you could just, you could choose what level you're going to be in the next 12 months or 24 months or five years from now, hey, what level do you want to be at? And let's just say he says, I want to be at 50K. I want to be at 100K. I want to be at 200K. And whatever he tells me, I'm going to say, okay, great. Well, let's, let's make that the plan and we're going to work together. And because he told me his why, of why I wanted to be successful, I'm going to say, all right, DJ. Hey, you and I are going to work together every day between now until whatever that timeline was, 24 months, um, so you could become whatever position he said, if it's influencer 200K, so you could become influencer 200K, so you could do this and this and this, which were his reasons why he wanted to become 200K, right? So we will have that conversation. But after that, I'm going to tell DJ, I said, DJ, it's so important for us to achieve influencer 200K and do this and this and this. What's going to be important is we get to start it properly right now and we keep, we move forward starting right now. And we, yes, we want to, we, we, we realize that, Hey, Hey, there's all saying that, right. You know, a, a, a 10 mile journey starts uh, with one step, you know, first step, one step at a time. So for us to get to 200 K, the most important thing is going to be you creating a story of you becoming influencer 100 right now. Let's set a goal right now to become an influencer 100 in the next 48 hours. So I'm going to put DJ on a plan to make sure that I get him to influencer 100 in the next 48 hours. Now, how do you become influencer 100? Influencer 100, all it is is one customer on the right, left, one customer on the right, because 500 IV, 500 BV on the left, um, 500 IV on the right, and it makes you influencer 100. Why is influencer 100 important? Because it's your first promotion. And, and when you get your first promotion, it gives you the confidence um, that, hey, if I could get the first one, I could get the second one. I could get the third one, right? And, 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 and it also pays your first $100 um, commission check. You know, and, and I believe that's very important. I, I still remember my first commission check in our marketing 20 years ago, back in the year 2001. 
Um, first commission check, that was $58. And I wish I was cool enough to not cash it and hold it and show it to you right now. Like, hey, this was my first, com no, I needed that money. <laughs> so I thought about it for a second. It would be so cool if I could show this in the future. Nope, I needed it to cash it. So, <laughs> you, know, but, uh, you know, but having that your first $100 check and having the first promotion, and once you realize that, hey, 200K, all it is, all it is, is me duplicating Influencer 100 multiple times. You know, Influencer 100 is just 500 IV, 500 IV. One customer that gets Pico with VR Loot subscription, there's 500. One on the left, one on the right, boom, you're getting your first promotion. Easy to do, simple to do. Now, of course, it takes work. Of course, you got to put your effort. Maybe you may have to talk to five people to get one person or two people to say yes. Maybe you have to tell 10 people to get two people to say yes. Hey, I love what Mr. Jamal said. Hey, what if you talk to one and if they said no? Well, you talk to another one. You know, how many? Here's a better question. A lot of people ask me, well, how many people do you have to talk to? Here's what Mr. Jamal said. As many as it takes. <laughs> hey, maybe you've got to talk to two to get two. Maybe you've got to talk to five to get two. Maybe you've got to talk to 10 to get two. I love what Mr. Jim Rohn teach. He, he says, hey, make up in numbers what you lack in skills. He said, matter of fact, if you talk to 10 and if you only get one, but if somebody else is more experienced than you and more skilled than you, and if they could talk to 10 and get nine, nine out of 10, he said, if we're in competition, I could still beat you. And somebody asked the question, how could you beat the person that's getting nine out of 10 when you're only getting one out of 10. He said, well, because you can make up in numbers what you like in skills. When he talks to 10 and get nine, you could talk to 100 and get 10. You know, so everybody could get two if they just simply go out and talk to enough people. Um, so simply just go out and take enough action, they're gonna get it. So um, you gotta get everybody on a plan, 48 hours creating their first promotion story, first level advancement, um, story of getting their influencer 100 done right away in first 48 hours. Now, after that, immediately, I believe everybody, my opinion, if somebody says, I'm not just joining this so I could get um, paid commission for um, the device and the subscription and things I'm going to do or my friends are going to do. If somebody said, I actually want to build a successful business with um, GPS, I'm going to, I'm going to encourage them at the minimum at the minimum, if somebody says, I want to be 50K or 100K or 200K in the future, I'm going to encourage them to, at minimum, put a plan together to become influencer 5,000 within their first 12 weeks. Why first 12 weeks? Okay. First 12 weeks, first of all, in group influencer marketing commission, um, you're going to earn extra 30% of what you earn in group influencer level um, commission, you're going to earn 30%, extra 30% for first 12 weeks as a fast influencer promotion. So your first 12 weeks, you're going to earn extra 30%. So I believe that everybody, if they're really trying to build a successful business by acquiring a lot of customers and creating good culture um, and creating their success within GPS, I believe they should really put a great 90-day game plan and make sure that they're really running as fast as they can for the first 12 weeks. Why? You're earning extra 30%. And number two, why? Second reason why is because you only have, here's how I learned it. You only have one chance to create your first 30-day story and first 90-day story and first one-year story. That's how I've learned it when I got started in the industry 20 years ago. And later on, when you've been doing this for five years, 10 years, you know, 10 years, I mean, and what you did six years into it for 90 days of time, well, you know, your story to talk about that and duplicate that isn't going to be as good as your first 90 days. So, you know, you only have one chance to create the best 30 day, 90 day, one year story. And you want to create it. Why? Because if better that story is, easier it's going to be for you to go out and duplicate fast result leaders in your organization. My previous company, I've spent almost 15 and a half to 16 years there. But you know, the most amount of stories that I used to teach were the stories that I created in my first 30 days and first 90 days. You know, it's my first 90 day story. It's my first 90 day results.
that um, I've taught even 15 years later. You know, so if you understand that your first 90 days of your opportunity, um, it, it doesn't, it's not just for the results of that 90 days. Um, if you could create the best 90 day story, when you're doing leadership five years from now, when you're doing leadership 10 years from now, um, literally your speed of your first 90 days could determine the culture of future leader success in your organization, even 10 years down the road. Um, I didn't teach, even, even when I was working with organizations 10 years into the business, I wasn't teaching what I did 90 days, last 90 days after being in for 10 years, I was still teaching what I was doing my first 90 days when I first got started. You know, so I wanna encourage every single one of you to really take that seriously because if you could create powerful 90 day story, just because you focused with everything you got, all on massive action first 90 days, by creating that story 10 years from now, you could be benefiting everybody in your team that joins with the right mindset they could run at full speed just because you took your first 90 days seriously. So to me, it's so worth you cutting out all distractions and focusing with everything you got to create the best 90 day story. And I think within, 90, within the 90 day story, it depends. You know, you could have a goal to be 10K, 25K, 50K, 100K, it's up to you. But I think at the, at, 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 at the, at the um, at least now, if you if you're just part time, one or two hours a week or one or two hours a day GPS opportunity, it's okay to have a goal to become influencer 250, 500. It's fine. But I'm saying if somebody wants to be a leader, if somebody actually wants to be 50k or 100k later, your first 90 day, your first 12 week game plan should be minimum of influencer 5000. Why is influencer 5000 important? Let me explain. Monthly influencer level bonus is $5,000 a month. As long as you hit and maintain that position, you're making $5,000 every month um, at that position. As a, so it's exciting. But number two, it's your very first $10,000 check position. You know, when you become influencer 5,000, um, you maintain the position for three months and you're going to get a level advancement bonus for $10,000. You know, so it's your first $10,000 commission check, a bonus check um, that's going to bring your level of confidence in you and your opportunity at a level. Um, it, it, it's just it's just different. You know, when I remember almost, I guess, um, 18 years ago, I remember when I experienced my first, I told you about how I felt and how I remember my first check, which was $58 which was so important. And it's, it's more important than some checks that I've gotten that was over $50,000, over $100,000 in my career. That $58 commission, I remember clearly. And you know what else I remember? When it was my first comma check, I remember. You know what else I remember? When it was my first $10,000 check, I remember. You know, so these stories, you know, gets embedded in your story, in your journey and in your career. Um, and you want to create those stories with a certain amount of timeline because it will duplicate and it will help you um, to build a, a strong culture in your organization. So, um, like I said, second reason is it's the first time you will experience your first $10,000 check. And that's going to be um, creating, I believe, when you receive your first $10,000 commission bonus, um, it's um, um, the level of confidence, the level of um, um, excitement within your organization and your future leaders in the team um, is going to go through the roof. And you want to create that. So your first 12 weeks, boom, influencer 5,000, you want to create that success story. Um, and after that is really duplication. You know, it's the duplication. I mean, if you think about it, to become an influencer 5,000, right? It's a 50,000 in lesser volume, which means left and right, it's about 100,000 in volume. So if you have one influencer 5,000 on the left and one influencer 5,000 on the right, guess what? You're influencer 10,000. You know, so the duplication, if you want to become influencer 10,000, 10K, if you influencer 10K, all you have to do is create one influencer 5,000 on the left, one influencer 5,000 on the right. That's it. You help one person to go. If you go, if you create influencer 5,000 story for yourself, could you help somebody else to do it? Of course. If you did it, somebody else could do it too. You help one person to do it on the left, one person to do it on the right. 
boom, you're an influencer 10K, you know, and, 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 and it duplicates. And so, so kind of sum up what we've been talking about, help everybody to start with the 48 hour game plan to become influencer 100, to get their first hundred dollar check, first promotion right away. That's the first game plan. Remember, keep them moving because it doesn't matter how active somebody was. If they stop moving, it gets harder to move. Um, and, 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 and if you could get them to not stop moving, I'm telling you, it gets easier and easier and easier to be productive and continue to move forward. Um, second plan should be influencer 5,000 um, in first 12 weeks. Now, they, maybe they're sure they're at least influencer 1,000, 2,500, and go for another 30-day, 60-day run to do that. You know, so after that, now, you know, they go to 10K, 50K, 100K, whatever, you know, level they would like to achieve. So how do you, now, you get them to run in the beginning, get them to drive, but how do you um, put the fire within the group to really um, 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 drive the momentum? Now, if you're a leader, here's the difference. Other influence, just influencers that just joins, they wait for momentum to come, Okay. A lot of people that just join, they, they wait for momentum to show up. They wait for momentum to kick in. They, they wait for something to happen, for momentum to happen. But if you want to become a leader, and as I told you last yesterday and the day before on these um, uh, Good Morning GPS um, calls, if you want to be a leader, in my opinion, the biggest difference between a leader and another influencer is that leaders drive momentum. They don't wait for momentum to come. They know how to create it. They know how to drive it. And binary compensation plan, GPS compensation plan is the best plan, in my opinion, to drive momentum anytime you want to. Create momentum anytime you want to. If I introduce Tony to the opportunity, if I introduce Tony to the opportunity, um, I want to go out there and promote um, Tony um, to, you know, I want to drive momentum within Tony's team. You know, so if I introduce Tony to the opportunity, um, here's what I do. Yes, I talk to him about becoming Influencer 100. Yes, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him about um, him becoming Influencer 100, Influencer 5000. I'm going to talk to him about that. Now, here's what you, let me explain what you don't want to do. Here's what you don't want to do. I should not tell Tony that, hey, Tony, you know, it's binary. It's only two teams. So guess what? I'm going to recruit somebody. I'm going to have to put them under you. So Tony, since I'm going to sign up somebody, and since I'm thinking about signing up DJ in your team, and since DJ is going to do great, and I'm going to build you this one big team, all you have to do is just build one. And if you could just build one, you're going to be successful because I'm going to build this big team for you, Tony. And, 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 and it's going to be great. So yeah, Tony, it sounds good. It feels good to hear that. I'm like, wow, I only need to do two, but Danny's going to do one for me. So I only have to do one, man. Yeah, that's great. Now, initially it feels good, but let's take a look and see why I don't recommend anybody promoting and building the business that let me explain why. Okay. If I tell Tony that and said, Hey, I'm building you a power leg. That's the terminology that a lot of buyer companies use. I'm going to build your power leg so you just focus on building one. If I do that, here's one of the two scenarios that's going to come up, right? One scenario is I built a team. I mean, I don't know, man. DJ, I'm just looking him on the screen. He looked like a superstar. So let's just say DJ come in. Boom. He flies all the way up to influencer 100K. Boom. He's got millions of dollars in revenue happening. That's incredible. Okay. So think about this. All right. So I put ponies here. I put DJ here. And let's just say DJ explodes. He's got hundreds of thousands of volume happening, millions of volume happening, and boom. And Tony, from the beginning, he's like, okay, well, I just got to build one. And he builds one. Let's just say he signs up. Um, I don't want this. Will, it's like, I'm going to talk about somebody not doing this. So I feel bad using anybody. Let's just say he recruits me. All right. He recruits Danny. And, 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 but I was his sponsor. Now I'm confused. All right. I'm going to use somebody that wouldn't mind me picking you and say you didn't do a good job. I'm, I'm just gonna use Stuart, he's my good friend, all right? So he's a super so he's all right. So let's just say Tony introduced Stuart to his working leg, lesser leg volume, and Stuart goes in and Stuart doesn't do as good of a job. You know, and, and let's just say that DJ's got a million dollar in volume driving, but let's just say Stuart only has 10,000 in volume, right? So Tony's only gonna get compensated on 10,000 in volume, not a million in volume because you know, you, you get paid and you get promoted according to what happens in your lesser leg. 
So when that happens, as big as the momentum of DJ team is in the power leg, how is Tony feeling? Is he super excited? Yes, in a way he's excited, this is good. But when this isn't as good, if person I put under Tony is exploding, but the one person he recruited in his lesser leg isn't exploding, guess what Tony's thinking? Tony's thinking, as the power leg gets bigger and bigger, mentally he's thinking to himself, man, dude, like, can Danny just put one more person, you know, under me? Like, you know, I mean, he got that going for me, but man, all I need is just one more good one. And I'm, I'm going to be like influencer 50 K, you know, and, and I just need one more. I've been trying here. I've been trying to get somebody good, but I just can't get it. But Hey, Danny did it for me last. Can he just do one more for me? You know? So when, when, when the power like gets built so big and they're not having good of it, I'm having as much success and they're less like, Instead of them looking at themselves to drive it, a lot of times people are going to look up and go, hey, just do one more for me. Just one more. Just one more, man. Not two more. Just one more. And, 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 and they're looking at their upline for the solution of, of, of their lesser leg volume. And, but it doesn't work that way. You can't build that way. So what happens is if I put somebody under Tony and that explodes, and, but if he came in with the mentality, I only got to do one because I'm getting a power leg, guess what? If that leg explodes, he's going to be looking up like, dude, just give me one more. But let's just say I put a DJ under Tony and, and, and that power like DJ doesn't do a good job. Let's just say Tony Ricker Stewart and sure explodes. He's, he's like number one superstar in the company. So I, we talked about me giving him a power leg and he recruits one and that leg just Stewart explodes. He's got millions of dollars in volume and DJ only has maybe 10,000 in volume. And guess what? Whole time, Tony's going to be blaming me. He's going to go, hey, Danny, you told me I'm getting a power leg. I only focus on building my lesser leg. It was supposed to be the lesser leg, but this leg is 100 times bigger than the leg you gave me. And because of it, I'm not making all that money. I'm not getting promoted yet because the leg that you put in my team isn't as big as the one I'm building. Dude, what are you going to do about it? So here's what happens. If you create a culture that, hey, I'm going to give you one, so just focus on one. If the one you've given does well, they look at you again to fix their other leg. If the leg that you put under them, the team that you put under them doesn't do well as the other one, now they blame you on why they're not getting promoted. So in my opinion, if you're building binary teams, if you're building a, a, a discompensation plan uh, um, organization, if you're building... Uh, if you want to build a successful team, if, if, if you have a conversation like I'm putting one, so build one, either way, it's not positive. Either way, it doesn't matter if they do good or not, it's not positive because they're going to either blame you or look for you uh, for uh, you to fix the problem. So how do you build binary? How do you build GPS where you still give them help, you still drive power light, you still put volume in your people's team and drive momentum because of it, but you don't create that situation or culture where they're just looking at their upline and either complain or blame or ask for a handout um, all the time, which isn't productive. So how do you do that? Here's how you do it. I will tell Tony, if Tony got started today, I said, Tony, obviously there are so many people for us to introduce. Obviously, a lot of people we talk to, they're going to be excited about this opportunity. And for me personally, in the last short few weeks, I've told over 40, 50 people about it, and I got a lot of people getting started. But the beauty of our plan is that you can only directly sponsor two, only directly place two, you can sponsor more, place two people in the team, and everybody else has to go underneath, and it helps the team. And that's beautiful. So, Tony, here's what we're going to do. Obviously, you're going to introduce a lot of people. So plan out on your first two people, one on the left, one on the right, and your next two people third person and fourth person. And regardless of who gets placed under you, regardless of what happens from um, leaders, other uplines, maybe um, you know, placing people in your team, regardless of that, your first person should go to your power leg that your, your upline, myself and other leaders may place in your team, okay? We call that power leg. Your first person should go on that leg, okay? Your second person should go into your working leg. Your third person should go into your 
our life. And your fourth person should go into your working life. And after that, you could go out there and recruit 10, 20, 50, and put it wherever you need to in the lesser leg volume. Because you don't want to, um, you don't want to try to match when the numbers are small and put all your leaders in one and now it's lopsided later. So you want to start off, you, the key is to have a balanced team left and right long term. And how you do that is making sure that you put your uh, first one here, second one here, third one here, fourth one here. And, 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 and after that, you could drive the momentum um, with those four people and more um, as you have maybe different people being placed in your team as well. So yes, I'm going to let him know that I'm going to put somebody in his team and it's going to happen at the right time. Yes, um, he may get more people show up in his team, but that needs to be extra on top of what he planned to do with your East Force four people that he bring to the business. Um, not, you know, I'm only doing one because things are going to be taken care of on the other side. Does that make sense to you? People are capable. People are capable. Everybody is capable of introducing and sharing this opportunity with more than four people, more than 10 people, more than 50 people. We're just getting started. And we've already, many of us have already told what, how many people about the opportunity. So don't limit yourself. You don't want to do this with just one person you introduce. So, okay, let's, let's recap. Your first person goes into the power leg, second person goes into the other leg, third person goes into the power leg, fourth person goes to the other leg, and after that you drive and do it however you want. But your first four, we got to create the culture where everybody does the same. And, and, and here's how it works. If I, let's just say Tony recruits um, DJ, but I recruit, let's just say Christina, and boom, that goes there. And it's exciting because now maybe Tony's number three, and also DJ's number one is also going underneath Christina and maybe underneath Stuart, maybe underneath Dan, maybe underneath Luke. And so it drives. Now, in the beginning, it's gonna look like it's unbalanced. Your power leg should look unbalanced in the beginning. But if you remember this, okay? It's not, uh, it's not a Tetris of building. You know, how many of you played Tetris before? Anybody, anybody? Okay. If you want to get big points, if you're really, really good at Tetris, you know, you know what you do? You build it up first. You build it up first. And you match it later, like four lines at a time. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you get big points. If you just clear it from the beginning and go safe, you know, one line at a time, you don't get the big points. So your power leg, okay, your power leg, rem remember this, okay? You want to, you want to, you, your power leg that you and your leaders are going to build, the size of your power leg and the speed of your power leg will determine your other leg. The size of your power leg and the speed of your power leg will determine the activities of your lesser leg. You know, so you want to drive one fast and trust me, they will drive the other leg every single time. But if this doesn't get, if you don't drive this, then you have nothing to try to catch up to this, catch up to. And now you don't have the momentum. You don't have the speed. You don't have um, the, the momentum working for you. Okay. So when you recruit, remember, you, wanna, you want that power leg literally every 24 hours. Boom, 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 boom of you recruiting. This person recruiting, this person recruiting, this person recruiting, and literally they're being sponsored one another and just building a powerful organization for everybody to have something being built, not just counting on that and only focusing on the other. Every, everybody's putting two people in within that leg to create a, 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 such a monster volume that now everybody focus after that to build something in their lesser leg um, to match. And I'm telling you, faster you could build your power leg and more effort you could put it in building power leg. The culture uh, that you create to drive that power leg will determine the speed and the size of your other, other leg, your um, working leg in the organization. Now, already a lot of time has gone by. I wanna just cover a couple more things. In, in our compensation plan, here's how you wanna do it. Don't recruit to recruit, you gotta recruit and leverage. So what that means is if I recruit, if I recruit um, Jim, if I brought Jen as an influencer onto my team, 
Um, and I know Jen's going to do good. When I get Jen involved, I want to leverage. I'm going to tell Jen, hey, Jen, myself, and we, I say the same message. Hey, you're going to build two teams. We're going to do it together. But the beautiful thing about this is that you're also going to get support from me and other people also. Um, so, hey, Jen, what you're going in the system, I want to see who else could support you. I want to see who else could um, uh, uh, put people in your team and help you have an even bigger team. So when Jen is going in, if today is Friday, I try to put Jen in the system on Sunday. But before Sunday, here's what I tell them. Hey, Jen, when you go in the system, I want you to figure out a few people that could go in with you. Um, because I'm going to be talking to somebody about possibly um, them getting started in your team as well. So Jen now goes into recruiting. Here's where the 48-hour game plan comes. I wish we were together. I wish I had a whiteboard to explain it. Um, you know, so... I'm going to tell Jim that, hey, when you get started, let's get started on Sunday in 48 hours. And when you get started in 48 hours, I, I want you to do, I want you to get started with a few people because I'm going to find someone that's going to get started with you. Okay. So but why do I say that? Because I don't want Jim to just join. I don't want to recruit just to recruit. Remember, you want to recruit to leverage. So when I got Jim committed to join and join on Sunday, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call an incredible leader um, that I have a lot of respect for, um, Mr. Dell. I call Mr. Dell on Mr. Dell. Man, this, maybe he's not in yet. Maybe he hasn't seen the presentation yet. Maybe he's not in you know, or, or saw it, but wasn't sure if he wanted to do it yet. I'm going to call Mr. Dell and go, Mr. Dell, I have this friend named Jim coming in the team this Sunday. You know, he's, he's powerful. He's got great potential. He lives out in Japan. He's going to be one of the best leaders in this company. Um, I really believe he's going to be the um, biggest success story, one of the biggest success stories um, in the company. But Jin is getting started with us on Sunday. But Mr. Dell, I think it would be great if you could get started in the team right now. Because if you get started before Jin does this Sunday, I'm, I want to put Jin in your team. And, and why do I do that? That's leverage, right? So if I got somebody like Jin coming in, I want somebody like Dell to come in. And I want to put Jin under Dell because it's going to boost his momentum. It's going to boost Dell. It's going to give Dell more reason to hurry up and build and take advantage of all the things that's going to happen. But maybe instead of being on the fence, you know, as you build, you got to build your list of people that saw it, interested, but didn't join. You got to build that list. It's so important to build that list in GPS because you, as you build that list, the, we, we call that on the fence list, you know? They saw it, they were excited, but they just weren't sure and, and they were on the fence. As you build that list, soon as I got somebody committed to come in, if I get Jen coming in, I'm calling my fence list. Does it make sense? I'm going, hey, I know you saw it, I know you liked it, and I know you were thinking about it, but I just wanna let you know, I got this person, I got this superstar coming in this Sunday, but I know you wanted to do it, you want to show, hey, if you get started before Sunday, I'm going to put this person in your team. Having the conversation, you could recruit and you can leverage to really drive. And I'm telling you, I'm actually telling you in a situation like this, I had a recruit and literally because of it, I was able to sign up 10 other people in 48 hours that were on the fence before um, just because, you know, and, and the beauty of our structure, beauty of this binary and this whole um, a, a team working together as a team where everybody could only have two teams of placement is that, you know, you could leverage and it doesn't disharm Jen, right? The truth of the matter is more people, somebody's like, well, I want to be at the top. I don't want anybody above me. Well, that's kind of dumb. Think about it. If there's nobody above you, nobody could put anybody in your team. I wish I had a hundred people above me right now, placing people in my team. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, worst thing you want in this plan is you have nobody above you that could actually put people in your team. <laughs> like, you know, and remember, we have a system where everybody's going to be recruiting at least two people in both sides of the team. So because of it, more people you have above you, more spillover, more help you're going to have in your power legs. So it's actually beautiful, right? More support you get. You know, so if I recruit Jen, I'm trying to put five, ten people in his team, you know, before even Jen starts. And that's beautiful. Why? Because I told Jen, hey, when you get started, try to find a few people that's going to start with you. Why? Because if Jen finds few people, the five or 10 people I recruited above Jen, they're all going to want to recruit their first person and their second person into the power link. So if Jen recruits them in the business, guess what? 
they're going to have people, not just from me, even people in between me and Jin, they're going to have them want to recruit someone to place it under someone that Jin recruits in the business. So it is you recruit to leverage, you recruit to leverage, you recruit to leverage. So when you recruit one, three to five above, three to five below, literally 10 people should be going in the system every time you recruit one, if you build this thing right. So if you recruit 10, you should literally have 100 influencers join because you're leveraging your recruit properly to build up and down, okay? Not just down, build up and down. And I know it's new strategy and new way that maybe many of you are not used to because you're brand new to GPS Complex. Once you can master the concept of you recruit to leverage, I'm telling you, your team will grow 10 times faster than, you know, if you were just recruiting to recruit. Does that make sense? Now, you so remember, in recapping before closing, your power leg will determine, the speed and the size of your power leg will determine the speed and the size of your lesser leg. And, and because of it, you wanna recruit the leverage to turn one into five to 10 as fast as you can and you wanna drop. And you wanna build, you wanna build by driving. And you drive the speed, you drive the culture and everything else is gonna follow. And you duplicate Influencer 100 stories. You want everybody in your team join 48 hours, Influencer 100, $100 bonus check, first promotion story. And you keep that going. And I'm telling you, you could build Influencer 5000 10K story um, very, very fast. I wish we had more time to talk about it. But I just wanted to give you some basics of some building strategies um, because um, the most important probably lesson that we all, hey, it's important to learn what to do, but it's also important to learn what not to do, right? We talked very clearly about what not to do. Don't recruit people saying, hey, I got this, so you just do one, and that's it. If you recruit that way, you know, you're going to, um, you, people that are capable of building two powerful teams, um, you're going to handicap them from just doing one and put them in a position where in the future, they're going to just blame and they're going to uh, uh, wait for something else to come around. If you've already talked to some people that way, it's okay because we only have been doing this for 10 days or 14 days or I don't know, not that many days, you know, so um, you, we could all work together right now to create the right culture this day forward. Does that make sense? So, um, you know, and, and we all have more recruits. We all have more people we're going to introduce. Just remember, recruit the leverage. You should turn one into five to 10 in 48 hours and build that story upon and, and this thing will go crazy. I mean, already right now, a couple thousand people are working with us. Um, that turning into five, 10, 20, 50,000, um, um, it's gonna happen so fast. Just think about it. In short three months during pandemic, not being able to do any physical meetings anywhere around the world, we have over 20,000 influencers working with us. You saw it yesterday on Google. You saw it yesterday by researching. This is the talk of the world, not just in our marketing, not just in VR space, no, everybody's talking about the need of VR. And we are the very first company to provide solution like what we're doing right now to truly help people in a big way. And I, I believe that um, because of GPS, because of what you're gonna do in your community and in your cities, uh, we're gonna be helping a lot of people to come out of this um, health crisis, um, come out of this um, the most, um, challenging and uncertainty economic time that we have ever seen in our lifetime, I believe that we're going to be helping a lot of people, give them hope and a game plan to really um, win in a big way with us with GPS. So, um, you know, I know we're going to be having a powerful system training tomorrow. Um, I know that Mr. Mike Lon and the leaders are putting together uh, an incredible training um, tomorrow. I know we got a bunch of presentation, Zoom events happening everywhere. I, I have so much respect for Mr. Michael on. It's not even funny. Um, I have so much. Um, he is the most disciplined, systematic, um, uh, 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 duplication team leader that I've ever worked with in the industry. Um, and, and we're so blessed to have him lead um, the system duplication and the momentum and the culture of what we're doing here um, with GPS USA. So I appreciate you, Mr. Michael on. I'm going to hand it over for you to um, close the call. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, should I, should, should we, um, should we give them the announcement? Um, I was talking to Mr. Michael on um, because uh, 
you know, I know we spend last three days together, 8 a.m., 5 a.m., 11 a.m. Um, um, and we thought, hey, there's so much more information that we could give. Um, and since we can't physically get together and we're, you know, at least getting together for an hour or less um, to start off our day together on Good Morning GPS, we said, why don't we extend it just one more week? You know, so next week, um, next week, Monday through Friday, we're going to extend it one more week. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you, um, it's not easy. I usually come to the office at 8 a.m. every morning, but it's midnight every day. So <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I sign myself up for stuff like this. I'm just kidding. But because uh, we love you, we care about you, we, we, we want... We want to pour in the right message and right energy and right direction and right culture for every single one of you. So, you know, better, you can make better decisions and you can practice better practices um, and minimize unnecessary mistakes um, that may, you know, um, affect your business in a way you don't want to. So next week we'll be doing it as well. I'm going to try to actually get a guest speaker or two um, next week because, um, you know, um, there's so much more we could talk about. I mean, we, I, I want to, I want to do a full, uh, we want, we, we want to talk a little bit about, um, 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 also doing a 2020s, like a virtual marketing, virtual system. Um, you know, we want to talk, uh, spend a lot of time about how to promote VR Lula and VRE, um, uh, e-learning industry and how to get customers. Um, I want to spend some time next week talking about helping you truly understand the full detail vision of the software development and the virtual reality um, um, e-commerce, EVP commerce game plan. Um, I want to spend some time and pour in as much as I can next week to really have you be equipped 100% to go crush this in a big way um, and get promoted to influencer 5K, 10K, 100K, 200K as fast as you can. So appreciate you. I appreciate you um, I'm being on the call. I'll hand it back over to you, Mr. Mike Lon. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again Monday morning. Good morning, GPS. Thank you, Mr. Mike Lon. Thank you, Mr. Danny Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, we have the greatest chairman. Not, as, not only does he understand how to play a huge corporate role, but the best part about Mr. Danny Bay is he understands what it is to be on the field like all of us, because for the last 20 plus years, He's been on the field just like us as a network marketer. So let's take full advantage of tonight's event. Let's enroll everybody into our Saturday training tomorrow. And next week, guys, five more days of Mr. Danny Bay. So again, happy birthday, sir. We appreciate you. We love you. Please get some good rest. Thank you very much, Mr. Coach Darrell. I see that you joined Tony. A Maui experience. All right. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.